Hey guys, it's Penny Finching Prepper here, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, I'm here today to talk about inch bags and appropriate axes. Uh, for those of you who don't know, an inch bag is a I'm never coming home bag. I, I, I don't necessarily believe in bug out bags. They're more like 72 to, you know hour bag to week bag and uh, I, don't, I just would rather have that be my everyday carry um so i lean towards what i refer to as an inch bag um and inside the inch bag is it's basically everything you're going to need to survive you know long term like if you were to do let's say uh uh, alone and you didn't have a limitations and what you could take this would be the bag to take you know or if you plan on going off into the woods and setting up your Swiss Robbins family or family life and you're you know not coming back to, to society that's the bag you want to take <clears throat> Uh, now in a bag like this it can get pretty heavy uh, pretty quick there, there's a, a lot of different types of supplies and stuff you can put in it and uh, axes are one thing that tend to be heavy so most commonly in a bag like this you wouldn't want to get a full size axe and you definitely still want something bigger than a, uh, a hatchet so you would get something that's referred to as a boy's axe a wood a woodsman axe uh, a hunter's axe i've heard them called all these different terms but they all they all come down to the the same thing and it's a uh, an axe uh now it doesn't come with this i i made it of course uh my first attempt it, it came out all right but uh, i shouldn't have used pleather on the straps mm -hmm. the uh, sheath itself is good quality leather but I cheaped out on the straps so this is a 24 inch 2.2 pound axe all right it's approximately the uh, length of your arm average all right you can see there all right and that's that's kind of what you're looking for it's long enough to get two hands on to get a, a swing on all right but uh it's light enough that it's and short enough that it's not hindering you on your backpack when trucking, trucking through the woods or that it's so heavy like a, um, you know, a, was it a, a four to six pound axe, which is your, your normal uh, chopping axe that you would have like at home with, a, I think it's around a 34 inch handle or something like that. Uh, so it's really important that you get something close to that weight, close to that size, that you get what you need from it, but not more than what you need from it or a little extra, all right? The other thing that you really want to look for in one of these axes is something that you can choke up on, something that doesn't come down like this and have one of those big fat necks you want something that that comes in at an angle that you can really really choke up on this is still small enough and you can choke up on it good enough that you can use it for working as a, a, a working blade for finer more detailed work it's actually pretty well balanced other than the fact that you can't be in a tight space. It's really not that bad at all to work with. 
one of the other big things that I find to be very important that people tend to overlook when they're picking out their axes for survival, all right? Now, if it's just an axe that you have in your backyard that you use on a daily basis um, and you're not worried about that being your long-term axe, that's one thing. But if it is your survival axe, it's really important that you get an axe where the handle comes up through the head. All right, these ones where the the handle wraps over and around the head no good all right they they're they're good for you know at home not your long term not worried about it lasting for a super long time type thing uh those 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 are great they work fine but for long term and the reason i say this is handles break all right. Now, I don't care if it's wood or if it's like this one, which is uh, fiberglass to reinforced resin. Uh, they're both going to break. You know, you, you hit it enough times right here from missing. You leave it out and forget about it in the weather one too many times. Uh you just use it too much, the handle's eventually going to break. And with those ones that wrap up over the top, you can't replace the handle on them. You, you just can't. Um, because of the fact of the way it wraps up over with the plastic and then they adhere it through, you know, pressure and heat to the the axe head you're not going to be able to to fashion something very well that's going to work long term uh out of it so you can always even though it won't be nice and ergonomic unless you have those types of wood skills uh you know just get a nice good hard wood branch and Form it and fit it up in there. Hammer it in real good. Put a wedge in it, you know, and uh, you'll be good to go. It'll work. And it will work for a good amount of time, you know, and then the handle breaks and you can make another handle. These will take forever to sharpen down so many times that you kill it. I mean, axe heads are basically lifetime tools. You buy it once. You should never have to buy an axe head again, um, unless you're some lumberjack champion that, you know, cuts down trees with nothing more than their axe and they do an enormous amount of trees a day or something <clears throat> where they're having to sharpen it over and over and over again. And uh, I know my sarcasm's hard to pick up on, but it was in there. Uh, so... Keep that in mind, guys. It, it's 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 important to to have an axe head that the handle can come up through. Um, in case you're wondering what this axe head is, what I went with after I always stress it, I don't buy anything without a ton of research. Um, it's it's called an intertool. Um, it's probably hard to see because it's backwards. They're a, a pretty darn good brand. I wouldn't call them awesome. Uh, they are in a budget range. This is uh, about a $45 axe. Um, and where they skimp isn't in the materials. The materials are great. I mean, the strength of the handle, the quality of the steel, the, you know... I, I've used this thing quite a few times. As you can see, it's it's a little beat up, not a lot beat up, but it's a it's a little beat up. Uh, it is great. It holds an, a really good edge on it. It's 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 good quality. Where they chimp is on the finish work. Um, 
you'll you'll see like for an example when they grinded it i know making up words but when they they, they didn't quite do a great grind job here they put a fast easy quick edge on it and uh it, it's not quite as bad on the other side but it is right here a little bit um where they press the handle together in the mold they didn't take any of that off um so i took sandpaper and i sanded it down and got rid of the rough edges uh the quality of the finish is decent but only after hammering a few things and banging in a few things the finish did come off a little bit uh, but overall the materials are great this axe will last you it's very comfortable it's got a uh, rubberized grip down below it's got a slick nylon up above so you can get a good slide here a good grip here really great axe other than the fact that they they chimped on the finishing that's something you're gonna have to clean up and make a little better in order to save a few bucks uh so i am going to leave a link below to this axe if you're interested in this particular one um like i said it's about 45 bucks it's uh, an Amazon special or deal, or it's on Amazon anyways. And I, I think you, uh, I think if you do get it, you'll be quite pleased at how much axe you do get for that forty dollar, forty five dollar range. Um, so if you uh, enjoyed watching this video, you learned anything about it or from it please give me a thumbs up consider subscribing if you have any questions leave them in the comment question or comment box down below guys i cannot talk today i am bad but leave it in the comment section down below and uh i will get back to you um if you uh don't like the comment section feel free to email me at penny pinching prepper 77 at gmail.com and remember God's good and God bless